And it's great again uh, to stand in the lobby of the Paul Martin Building. You will remember many years ago this building being closed and the conversation in the community about fixing the limestone and who's going to pay. Uh, and the then Stephen Harper government said, okay, we'll fix, we'll fix the limestone and make sure that this building can keep going for quite some time. And the federal government said, listen, we'll give you this building for a dollar, but you have to have a municipal purpose. And so it worked out perfectly where the municipal purpose was the relocation of the Windsor Public Library. At the same time, we said, well, we don't want to own this building in perpetuity. We need to find a good use. How does this space uh, get redeveloped and reactivated so that it really provides uh, a maximum benefit to downtown? And the city issued uh, an expression of interest and we received a number of proposals with different ideas of things that we could do. Uh, and certainly uh, we landed on wanting to consider uh, the reason that brings us here today and working with uh, Rob Myers and his, his daughter Jess uh, to consider what a boutique hotel would look like in this space. And you say, well, who is Rob Myers and what do they know about boutique hotels? If you've ever been to Chatham and stayed in Chatham and stayed at the Retro Suites, you will know it is a unique space. It is a, a destination uh, property for people who are going for an experience. And so we worked with Rob through a pandemic and through the complexities of trying to identify some of the challenges in this building to see whether or not it could actually be repurposed for the purpose uh, of a boutique hotel. And we're here today. We're really looking forward to this. We think it'll be a... Uh we're, my daughter and I were talking about on the way up here that, you know, there's all these uh, shows on television about Waco, Texas, this and that. But I think we really know what we're doing in this. And my wife's an artist and I'm sort of an artist. My daughter's an So we can't wait to put it on in here. And we think that'll be one of the most unique hotel properties in the country. Like, no question about it with the, the things that we want to do with this. So. We're very excited. We uh, appreciate the opportunity. We're excited to see the future restoration of the most prominent building in the city of Windsor to become the center of attraction to our downtown core. We talk about these small steps that we've been taking over the last year to really transform and make downtown Windsor a better, more attractive place for people to, to stay and to play. And this is actually a big step. This is a big step towards the future because you can feel the energy in this room. I don't know if it's because the people that are inside it or the building, but this is gonna be a great place to party. You can feel it here, that this place is gonna be awesome. So it's a great place to play. It's a great place to stay. I can't wait till this place opens. I'll be the first one in the room. The head of tourism, we're delighted to welcome another hotel, our eighth hotel in downtown Windsor, which will bring our room complement over 1900 hotel rooms in downtown specific. But having another accommodation option, uh, that is unique, it's a boutique hotel, unlike anything we have in the area, provides our visitors with another option to choose from, and more importantly, helps meet the demand for peak occupancy periods. And it revitalizes this block, of course, and the increased foot traffic that will be generated because of it supports the downtown businesses. And Rob, we thank you for this investment. Uh, we thank you for coming to Windsor and showing the leadership that this building needs. Uh, and we're really, really excited to have the next boutique hotel in downtown Windsor. Thank you very much.